I can't imagine doing something else. So I care about making a positive contribution to the world and I care about, you know, remedying injustice. Karunla, there is so much to set right with the world. You have fought for gender rights, disability rights, freedom of speech. How do you decide what to put your might behind? See, there are two aspects, right? Like one aspect is that I really want, so I'm a constitutionalist. I'm, I truly believe in the constitution of India. It's, it's something that motivates me. Um, and international human rights. And so when, when a particular case comes to me, then I look at a number of things. One is how, how much do I care? It's the care test, right? I love that, the because, care test. The care test. That's fair. And because I think that after all these, I've been sort of working in the profession for now 18 years. I've been, you know, so there's a way in which you can tell whether it's, imp so what and who cares? Is it important? Is it going to have a larger impact? And how complicated is it going to be? How good a case is it? So is it a good petitioner? You know, you have sometimes the ideal petitioner. Is it something that is, uh, we can find a good legal theory to win? But honestly, you know, sometimes there's a case that doesn't have a hope in hell, right? But uh, justice is on its side and and you, you care it. about that and you just do it anyway. <laughs> and that teaches you a lot too. So like, you know, one of the big cases that, you know, sort of anyone would, I think, represent. Uh, so that's not necessarily a good example of this, but um, is the Bhopal cases, you know, which have had a very hard time um, achieving justice. But, and I've all been always about impact, impact, impact. But for me, that really taught me something because for me, it taught me Persistence, the value of resistance, you know, the value of keeping something alive, even when you are against sort of the biggest corporate governmental nexus there is in the world. So, so Kalki Kekla said that you are a feminist superhero. <laughs> Do you like that label? I mean, I, you know, there are lots of women that I admire and I believe to be heroes. And so I will, I should actually accept it with grace. Um, somebody was asking me what's changed after 2012 and honestly the institutions haven't changed that dramatically, right? What has changed is women believing that they are entitled to full citizenship. Yeah. You said, Karuna, that uh, being a lawyer is not a profession, it's a calling. What are you in it for? So I'm in it for meaning, money and metamorphosis, right? Um, which is to say, I can't imagine doing something else. So I care about making a positive contribution to the world. And I care about, you know, remedying injustice. And, um, and I have a practice and a life to run, <laughs> you know. So, so those, are, those are the things. But, Karma, but I did experiment a lot, huh? I know. I yeah. know. You applied to film school, journalism film school, school, and law school. Yes. That's amazing. Well, you've clearly done your research. Yes. So, so clearly yeah. this was not an obvious thing. It, like, it, it's not like you knew when you were very young that I want to do law. No, not at all. In fact, sometimes I would go to court and I would look at the sort of people and the atmosphere and find it deeply depressing and not want to, you know. And then I applied to film school, law school and journalism school and law school came through first and I thought I'd grit my teeth and bear it. And, I and walked, you fell in love. And I fell in love. I literally, I fell in love. But Karna, tell me this, when you're surrounded, I mean, you're seeing the worst of human behavior, right? Your yeah. profession gives you a sort of front row. That's true. That. So how do you, in this oh, view... That's an interesting way to think about it. It's true. It, it's yeah. true, right? How do you find the joy? Where, what are the moments of joy here? When we win. You know when you win, like in the Bhopal cases, like when you get that safe water for people, it's it's... It That's makes a joy. Yeah. But even, you know, honestly, Anupama, it's like when you, when there's a concept and you're kind of working it through and then you find the right strategy. You know, you're brainstorming with your clients and we're stuck and you find the right strategy. So my clients are always partners in my cases, you know? It's not, it's not the kind of situation where 
sort of people come and they give me their problem and I say, okay, go off, I'll just deal with it, right? I think the client always knows the most about their case. They also know what they need and what they want and what they don't need. And so therefore, you might, for example, want to come to a strong position in the case and then settle, depending on what they need, depending on what their individual circumstances are. And so when you come up with, with say, a legal theory that, or, or, or a strategy that fits exactly, those are little joys also. No? There's the process also. Sure, sure. Yeah. Tanu, you're very active on Twitter. You did a yeah. Reddit AMA. Um, why do you make yourself available online? Because I think that it's, uh, you know, one thing I realized in 2010 was that how justice is perceived actually feeds into what justice is. Right? So, therefore, if the country believes that um, the Bhopal victims have not gotten justice, it's not, that they'd all, the, it's not that the country is always going to be right. And justice in that sense is not democratic. You know, judges decide, right? But I also believe that what a mass of people believe does, um, and particularly when it is, constitutional, when it is to further constitutional right, then that is something that um, is important, you know. And I also think that those conversations, the, the, that envelope does need to be pushed in the popular imagination. So for example, when people are speaking about the death penalty, I do think that it's important to sort of engage and say that, you know, it's, it's really not popular sometimes to, because, uh, to oppose the death penalty, for example, right. But, um, for example, in 2012, when people were, uh, when uh, the young woman on the bus, when she died, there was a huge bloodlust that rose up because people were so upset and they didn't know what to ask for. And I put out a series of eight tweets, you know, basically saying no bloodlust in our name. That was, that was the, the, the first tweet and essentially saying like the, the death penalty is not something that works. It's something that some studies show that it actually increases um, rape and murder and violent crime. And so it's the easiest thing for a politician to ask for or to call for. But what it actually does, it comes at the final stage of sen sentencing, whereas what one really needs is for the justice system, the criminal justice system to be fixed, so you have swift, certain punishment. That is a known deterrent, you know? Like if you are a rapist and you know you're going to be caught and you know you're going to go to jail for one year, two years, five years, ten years, that's when you're not going to do it. Right. Not when you have this abstract idea that, oh, A, I'm not going to be caught. B, if the trial happens, it'll, you know, 30 years later is when it'll be decided. Sure. So, and then death penalty, you know, this, you know like, not ah. it's, it's not quite a dekhi jai, <laughs> but it's not a deterrent. Sure, yeah. sure. And I believe when you're not working, yeah. you're writing songs and singing? <laughs> yes, yes, oh God. I said what? that in one interview. What are these songs about? Um, all sorts of things. I wrote a jazz song. Um, and that was, uh, uh, you know, and then I wrote a song for my father's 80th birthday. And it was about, and it was interesting because my father's qualities, my father's positive qualities are actually quite traditionally male. But it was partly about that and partly about him raising me to be a free and, um, you know, strong woman. And yeah, so I just, and I you love like doing to sing. that. I like to sing. <laughs> That's so lovely. Thank you, Karuna. And, Thank you. and, you know, keep up the good fight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>